Hello and welcome back YouTubers and in this episode we're going to show you how to download your favourite games from World of Spectrum and install them on the ZX Vega. I know a lot of people are very disappointed to see their favourites like Manic Miner, Jet Set Willy, um, Exelon, Stormbringer, few to name but a few um, were just simply not present on the device. So we're here to fix this and I'll need a um, spare memory card, micro SD and I have one here, it's a 32 gig Samsung um, micro SD card um, available from Amazon or favorite stockist and in advance I've downloaded uh, a few games here just to test the theory so I've got Stormlord, um, Tap Files uh, for 128-48k Spectrum I've got Exelon and uh, in my favorites folder I've put Jet Set Willy, Manic Miner um, Mob of Madness, Prince of Persia, Solomon's Key, Tuberuba, and a special version of uh, Manic Miner. Um, now the, the Z ZX Vega guys, they recommend that you don't install too many files on the same directory or in the same folder because the Vega won't cope with it. Not sure what the limit is, but for the purpose of this demonstration I've added files in the root well, what will be the root, and into a folder I'm going to call favorites for now. And all I'm simply going to do is select those files and I'm going to drag and drop to my memory card over here. Obviously, I'm using a Mac, um, Windows, it's a fairly similar process, it's just the graphics are looking a little bit different. You know, <laughs> to try not to be a bit flippant, but. Um, here we go. So my memory card, 32 gig available, um, stored more tap. Everything is all here. So the, the next phase, of course, is to install this onto my Vega. And for illustration purposes, this is what the manual says about installing games on the Vega. You can obviously freeze frame the um, instructions. I just thought for brevity, I uh, would we'll keep it um, fairly simple. So I have my micro SD card. It's a Samsung 32 gig, and I have my Vega in hand here. And if you flip it over so that it's aligned with the D-pad, you can see a, a slot hopefully there on the video. The card goes with the pins facing down and it just literally just pops in. There's no spring. Um, you need to pull it out with your thumb if you need to do, need to get it back out again. And um, if it's all, all well, we're ready to start the system up. When the ZX Vega starts up, you should get a new menu item on the bottom right hand corner in green, which is B for SD card games. If that menu doesn't show, then it's worth checking that the SD card is inserted correctly. Sorry, the micro SD card is inserted correctly. Um, pop it out, push it back in again, and power the device back on or press the reset button in the middle. If it's enabled, press B and you're now presented with this menu. With the menu on display, you've got the choice of folders, either the root or favorites as we created here. Now this is what caught me out where I saw the dot underscore uh, it seems to be a, a Mac issue, shouldn't appear on Windows I'm told and you can ignore that but press the left and right keys to select the folder or select the games. I was caught out by this because I thought I would see the complete list of games that I'd installed on the SD card and it turns out that you have to press the left and right as it constructs the menus alphabetically. Once you've found the game that you want to play um, press select and it will start up. You'll get a warning message as you can see here. You can see the game has started and you've got the familiar key code entry uh, that was introduced in Jet Set Willy. I'm sure you're resourceful enough to find a, a version that doesn't require this or you can find the colour chart available on the internet. To be able to enter the code though, um, for this example, we need to press the M button 
to activate the keyboard. Sorry about the blurriness, it's the camcorder again. Um, I've selected the keyboard and I press for um, digits and thankfully we've got 0, 1, 2 and 3 on here and the code in this example is 2313. I dial those in using the rubber keys on the keyboard and then press the B button to enter. And there we go, Jet Set Willy is now starting. Interestingly, this was one of the few games that didn't need a Captain joystick or some kind of conversion. So the left and right arrows worked okay. The up button acted as jump and the rubber keys acted as jump as well. There wasn't one to switch the sound off. But the fact here is, is that I'm able to play Jesset Willy um, on the Vega, no issues at all. I'm not gonna bore you to death with the uh, poor play on my part here. It's been a very long time since I've played this on a, on a real device or, well, a simulated device. But I'm going to show you some examples of other games. In this example I'm going to select a game um, from the root directory and I'm going to choose Stormer. So forget, don't forget to press the right key. This is the 1 to 8k version and you're presented with a menu and you need to activate the keyboard and press 3 for Kempston to make sure that it acknowledges a Kempston interface. So press down, get digits. And as you can see I'm fluffing it up here. <laughs> okay, 3 and you can see Kempston is now flashing. Um, hit the M button to exit the menu and I can now press fire to start. And the controls are fairly familiar, up, down, left, right, and uh, fire. This is one of my favorite games of all time as a teenager. I'm sure you can imagine why, um, given the, the fairy in the pot there, and uh, I like the uh, special attention that was paid. And that's how you install games on the SD card on your ZX Vega and to avoid disappointment. I'm looking forward to the tool for configuring the device for games that aren't already included. Um, we're promised that this is in a later release this year or in a firmware update. And um, until then, I'm able to at least play some of the games that, uh, that interested me as a teenager. But there are some games that just don't work. Tuba Ruba, um, I've not managed to get functioning, uh, not without using the virtual keyboard, which is an absolute pain um, to do on this device. So thank you for listening. Uh, if you like my channel, please subscribe. If you like the video, click like. If you don't, and tell me why and how I can improve it. Um, until next time, thank you very much for listening. Take care.